go straight to that guitar. Shut up, Ben, brother. You should listen to yourself sometime. I'm trying, but it's a losing battle. I thought it was meant to be a music club anyway. Leave off. My turn. Get out of it. You've rocked it for the last ten minutes. You can't even play it. Because I don't get the practice, that's why. You can practice some other time. I watch it. Oh, I'll get my brother onto you. Oh, I am frightened. You will be. Lost. Oi. That's Emma Stepson. That's right, Rupert Stepson's sister. You've heard of him. What are you two doing now? We're not members. So what? So you shouldn't be here. Don't no worry, we're not playing. Just listening. Here, can you bring the Thompson twins on that whistle? It's not a whistle, Danny. It's a recorder. You've lost weight off saying. What, me in this blazer? Nah, someone else's. He's got mine. It's the latest clothes, top the uniform. What for? Fun. Rules say we got to wear it. They say it's got to fit, though. Anyway, these what I'm here about. Don't tell me. Let me guess. Music stands? Why? Want to buy one? Music stands? They're wire coat hangers. Dual purpose. Music stands or coat hangers. Perfect. Can you keep the noise down, please? It doesn't have to be full volume. What are you two doing here? Wrong room, sir. It's a ring number and it's got us confused. Oh, as you say, great enthusiasm when the ideas first moved it, but mentioned the work, involvement. Nick Smart promised to be here. So did Anne Hartley. I asked her at the same time as I asked Maurice Bronson. He declined the invitation when he learnt it wasn't to be Gilbert and Sullivan. <laughs> <laughs> well, so it's just the three of us then? Oh, well, not to worry. The rest will join once we get the show on the road. Well, it's better three for the keen than a dozen over here under protest. It saves a lot of argument, simplifies things. English department directs, art department sees to the sets and costumes, music department handles the score. Well, so knock them into shape. Don't worry. My cousin Pam regularly sees the people. She's done a course. There's a new bus. It's them too. Look, there's Cindy Walsh. Oh, look, Bronson from the yard. Richard Gower's there too. Richard Gower. What about him? Just thought I'd tell you. I can see if these things on. Good idea there, bus. Save getting wet if it rains. It's a long walk to the upper school, isn't it? If anyone still hasn't given me the names for our bridge builders scheme, they'd better give them to me now. Remember, we're going on our initial visits tomorrow afternoon. Miss, you haven't got mine. Well, let's have it then now, Paul. And anyone else? Right, let's go. Your eyelids were heavy. Relax. Relax. You were going deeper. Deeper. Well, you're doing is sending her to sleep. I'm not. I'm inducing a state of hypnosis. <laughs> Big words. You don't even know what they mean. Oh, never mind her, Callie. Get on with it. Some chance she's in. Sorry, Robert, but you're meant to be bridging the gap between yourself and some unrelated senior citizen. Not your gran. Me and Gonch, uh, Luke, are working together, miss. Is that your blazer? Mum says I'll go into it. Mr. Light, isn't it? Arndale Road. You haven't put his age. Don't know it, miss, but I'll ask him if you like. Tactfully, Paul. Some people are sensitive about these things. What we don't want to do is offend anyone. And you have checked that he's willing to take part in our scheme? Uh, yeah. Good. Because we don't want any doors slammed in our faces, do we? Liar. So, oh, it wasn't Cleaver or Savage. So it seems. Others verified their story. Reliable others. So we're still at square one. None the wiser. Biding our time, that's all. They'll slip up whoever's doing this. It always happens. And when they do, we'll have them. You'll see. When are they coming to repair this? How long is a piece of string? I better come soon. I'm running out of tape. I no sooner put it on than it vanishes. Thieving little perishes. You're in the sixth form now. You shouldn't need to be told everything twice like little children. You should be setting an example. 
You just forgot, miss. That's a feeble excuse, Christopher. The pass system has been well in operation for a week now. It should be second nature. I thought it was for the lower school, miss. Then you haven't been listening, precious. I made it quite clear it applied to all pupils. No one goes out of the school playgrounds without a pass from a member of staff. And don't look like that. While you remain at Grange Hill, you are in my charge and obliged to conform to the rules. Talking of which leads me to my next question. Why do I find you in this building? Miss Washington wanted to see us. About the school musical. Yeah. We've got a study period. Yeah. Right. Then studying is what you should be doing. Extracurricular activities can wait. Off you go. Don't matter. Arndale Road. What number? 37, I think. Got it. There you are. But the phone's broken. You don't have to use this one. No, it's not. It's still working. It's only the cash box that's gone. Save you some money. How do you mean? Push it in the Get it back out again. Seven. Two, two. Nine, two. Hurry up. It's ringing. Hey, it works. Here he is. Hello? Look at Bronson. Watch Bridget doesn't catch us here again. She'll do her nut. We've got to see Miss Washington. She'll wonder what's happened to us. Pity about Stewpop. What lessons he got? History, modern European. Not that he thinks there's much modern about it. They're still back in the last century. She can get past this year. He ought to. The amount of work he says he's doing. I've hardly seen him lately. What do you mean, says he's doing? Don't you believe him? Well, it's the same stuff as he did last year. You'd think it'd be easy for him second time round. The music will take his mind off it when it gets going. If he gets involved, I'm not sure he wants to. He was pretty non-committal at lunchtime. He says he's not keen on West Side Story. But it's great. The numbers are terrific. How can anyone not like him? Tonight! <laughs> Tonight! <laughs> oh, sorry, sir. Clumsy girl. Why don't you look where you're going? Why'd you fancy him as a dancing partner? Oh, sure, that's a hairpiece. Look at him checking to see if it's still there. Well, you'd know, of course, with your hairdressing experience. Oh, don't remind me. I'm trying to forget about that. All right, R1. Back to where we were. Mr. Humphreys. Mr. Bronson. Any joy in tracing our light-fingered friends? I ask only because I may be able to help. I just happened to pass the school telephone and saw something that might warrant investigation. I think Mrs. McCluskey would be the best person to deal with that. There's no greater deterrent to petty crime than staff vigilance, as I'm sure you'll agree, Mrs. Gower. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, may I introduce Mr. Bronson of our language department, Mrs. Gower, chairman of the education committee. How do you do? How do you do? Well, I expect we'll see you again on our rounds. This bit here, I don't understand, sir. Have you finished with my rubber, Callie? Mm -hmm. I'll give her a natural reaction. Oh, watch it. Do what you made me do. Yes, Lynn? I'll be getting my rubber back, sir. So do it quietly. Caroline Donington, come out here and bring that with you. Sir? That's mine, sir. She should have thought of that before listening to it in my lesson. I'm sorry, Bonnie. My mum will go spare. She warned me not to get it confiscated. Come on, you lot. Get a move on. Sir, why don't you walk to the upper school? Save petrol. Waste lesson time, you mean, the route you lot take. Go on. Kept us fit, though, sir. Fit? What, you, gardener? 
Your nose has trouble running. It's swimming, not fancy dress. Go on. Right. All right, shut up, sit down and get your fares out. I've got to supplement my miserable salary somehow, haven't I? Talk about money, who wants some badges? No, a few, Gardner. Can you wash the germs off them? We've heard about your visit to that rubbish tip. Was that you, Donington? No, I never said a thing. Me neither. You're the only ones who saw us there. How'd you know someone else could have? But I've always sat there. Everyone acknowledges that that is my chair. Well, far be it for me to break one of the noble traditions of this school. Thank you. Nothing personal, of course. Oh, of course. I just saw our revered headmaster in the corridor. Oh, really? You recognised him then? <laughs> I think it was him. It's been such a long time since the last time. I wonder why he's lowered himself to come over here. He's showing Mrs. Gower around. Who? The chairman of the education committee. Oh, I... This is a part of the new Grange Hill and a very important part. Very pleased to hear you admit it at last, Morris. Hey, look at this! Fancy chucking that away? We could get good money for this. You're kidding, Gonch. Everyone at school knows where we got the stuff. They won't buy anything off us. So, we won't do the selling. We'll get someone else, a middleman. Huh? Someone they don't suspect. Will we give them the stuff to sell for us? Why not? Me? For a share of profits, of course. Morning, Veronica. Waiting for someone? You, yes, sir. Can I have my walking back, please? Yes. I meant to let you have it back last night. Wait there. Who shifted the cassette player I left in? Cassette player? What cassette player? Someone has. It was here last night. Well, I doubt if the cleaners would have moved it, not unless it was in their way. Which it wasn't, so it's not likely to be then. Oh, dear. Looks like we'll have to keep the staff room locked as well from now on. What? You mean it's been... I'd say it was odds on. Wouldn't you, Jeff? Swapping uniform. I've never heard of anything so ridiculous. Well, you two go and change your trousers. And you two go back to your seats. Go on. Right. Listen, E1. Hurry up, please. You all know what's yeah, happening this my afternoon. Book, I'll tie. Yeah. They're in, I'll meet you in the playground Very at bold. 3 o'clock sharp. Now, the bus will be waiting for you, so you must be there on time. I'll have all your ID cards and your playground passes. All you have to do is bring your cells and your questionnaires. Got it? Yes. Where are ID cards? Identification. So really are from Grange Hill and not muggers in disguise. You've written being at Grange Hill will impress them. Should do after this. See our point. Right, quickly through the register then. Alan? Yes, miss. Beeching? Yes, miss. Bertles? Veronica Bertles? She's not here, miss. Bishop? Yes, miss. Boyle? Yes, miss. There you are. Where have you been? Start from. Someone stole my Walkman. I wasn't to know, was I, Ronnie? It's Smart's fault. If he left it lying about the staff room, he should buy a new one. I don't know what I'll tell my mum. It was all my fault. Playground passes. It's like a flame in prison. We never had them in our primary school, though, did we? Well, I'll get him now when I get it. Not having it back. That won't come and go as I like. They won't let you. We left to hand it in. I'll say I lost it. Not much I can do about that. You're wasting your time, mate. It's gone. Good. <coughs> it's 
far too much milk. It's not right, not too thick because they'll rise in the oven. But a bit thicker than that, Caroline. It's biscuits you want, not wafers. Sorry to disturb your lesson, Mrs. Girling. I was wondering if you might have an apron I could borrow. Yes, there's one over here. This lad, is it? He keeps forgetting his own. Uh, normally I lend him one myself, but today I don't seem to have one to spare. <laughs> well, he's all right. He's welcome to borrow this, providing he brings it back washed and ironed. Of course. You'll see to that, won't you, Gardner? Well, won't you? So, here you are, then. Put it on. Suits you. <laughs> Very nice. I'm sure the other lads will be quite envious. Let's go. Thanks, Mrs. Gurley. <laughs> All right, calm down. Get back to your work now. What did you take it off for, Gardner? I thought we suited you. Who's a pretty boy, then? Sorry, Bertles, I've been near that. I've still got my Walkman, see? And I wouldn't be surprised you had mine or not. Yours? What do I want that for? Spike. Because it was better than that thing. Was it? You know, you better watch who you're accusing. Unless you've got proof. How can she? I didn't do it. I wouldn't expect you to own up. Where can you get the truth out of them, Kelly? Hypnotise him. Get off. No, I know other people do it. Oh, hypnotise me? Cheeky on you. Scared we'll find out something. The only thing you'll find out is she can't do it. You haven't given her a chance. All right. Go on, then. Hypnotise me. Cast your evil spell. You don't believe in it. You've got to believe first. I'm willing to be convinced. Don't tell me you're chickening out now. Go on, Callie. No messing about. No messing. I don't trust you. Oh, just do it, Callie. OK. Keep your eyes on this and relax. Right. Right. Relax. Forget where you are. You have nothing to fear. Nothing at all. Relax. Relax. Breathe deeply. Slowly. You are going back. Back. Don't stop. Keep going. You are going back. 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 To yesterday afternoon, you were alone, all alone, by the staff room. Cast your mind back, back, back. It's not working. Bertles. Ronnie Bertles. Listen! Walkman. Staff room shelf. He's heading us on. Got it. Smart coming. Must die, quick. Downstairs. I don't think he is. Cloakroom's best place. No one there. In a locker. Watch it. McCluskey. Caught red-handed. Oh, no. It's a fair cop. Big <laughs> gardener. Good, though, wasn't it? You asked for that. Vincent Savage, this is your stop, Northwood Road. Off you get. Yes, miss. Don't look so sulky, Vincent. You never know. You might enjoy yourself. Yes, miss. Here's your ID card. Thanks, miss. Got questionnaire? No, miss, I forgot it. A likely story. Shut up. Well, that's no problem, Vincent, because it just so happens I have some spare copies. Thanks, miss. And be polite and patient, OK? Good luck. Good luck to the poor old lady who's getting in more life. That's quite enough from you, Gardner. It's your stop next and you, Paul, so get ready. Don't rub up the wrong way, Gun. She's in enough trouble as it is. Don't look at me, mate. She has messed this one up. I'm well dischuffed, I tell you. Well dischuffed. Off you go, then. We'll wait here a few seconds, just to make sure everything's all right. No need to bother, miss. We'll be fine. We'll just see you safely inside. We wouldn't want you getting lost now, would we? What if he's not in? He will be. Mum said he hardly goes out.
Yes? Mr. Light. What is it? We're from Grange Hill, the local comprehensive. Yes, well, what are you doing around here? We're starting new schemes to help the old folk like yourself. I don't need any help. I'll go yet. You haven't heard what we can do. You see, we should have checked with him first. Come on. Gaunch. There's no point in staying here. Can't give up yet. What will we tell him at school? The truth. That he's not interested. He don't understand, that's all. Hey, look. Mr. Light. If you don't go away, I'll call the police. Blimey. Right, Freddy, so it is. Just as I feel like helping. Come on, Arlo. Suit yourself, but I'm off. If that's what you think, we'll do anything you like. Shopping, gardening, cleaning, anything. You still there? Tell you what, I'll leave my name and phone number. I only live up the street. If you change your mind, you'll know where to find me. There's no giving up with you, is there? How did yours go, Kelly? OK. She's nice on Mrs Gray. Let me exercise her Ernie. Ernie? Good dog. You're lucky. I've got lumpy with a pile of dishes. I know there's no washing up with me. <laughs> oh, no. I did some ironing. Don't mind that, really. Wouldn't like to do it every week, though. I've got a terrific tea. Lots of homemade cakes. Slabs of toffee. Chocolate crispies. She let me help myself. It's not yourself you're meant to be helping. What was the time, was it? Not about our misery cuts and even let us in. Still, I'll lift the show for it. Would you wash it the same when you told me you'd lost it? I'm not getting another one till I find it. Not that I need two passes. Hello, where'd you get to last night? Why are you coming round? Didn't get away from Mr. Lights till seven. You didn't go around all that time? No, he let me in, had a chat, and he gave me some tea. Who the other one, Hello? Honest, he's a different bloke altogether. Once you get to know him, he's just shy, that's all. I don't know if to believe him or not. Do you want to back the old misery you went and saw? Yeah, except she isn't. Look what he gave me. It's made of lead. Feel the weight. Blimey, Arlo. Now how much these cost? People collect them. Yeah. Beats a rotten old playground pass any day. Especially as Mrs McCluskey's decided not to use them after all. <laughs> <laughs> 